Another key topic in innovation, what normally goes wrong, is understanding your customer needs. And I do have a very simple question. Where do I go for dinner tonight? Do I go to a nice bar or do I go to a formal dining place? And I guess it's tough to answer. So let me help you and let me provide you some more information. So basically the gentleman you see here is a typical representative of a segment. You know? This is what is called a persona. A persona being a typical representative of a segment. The segmentation theory is basically called to how we market. You know? So we think about which segments have similar needs and how do we push messages to those. But segmentation is also the core towards product development. Because we're thinking when we build a new product, we think about, well, who would be actually using that? How would we actually do this? Who would consume that? So now since you have a lot more information about me being a representative of a certain segment, I'm asking you once more, well, where do I go tonight for dinner? Now you have all those information about me and perhaps even a lot more, who knows? I mean, just imagine you had all the relevant information about me, everything you could possibly imagine, including my taste preferences. Could you now answer, where am I going for dinner? And the thing is, probably not, not with significant likelihood. But if I would just offer you one more piece of information, then you could easily tell that. So tonight I'm going to meet my old student friends and we're going out. Now I think everybody knows now, now basically with very high probability, Stefan is going to the nice bar. But if I'm going to take out a new customer for dinner for the first time, then it's equally clear. And broadly taking the customer to the formal dining place. So what we have to understand is not segmentation criteria and more and more detailed personas. It's not that what is driving a decision. What is driving a decision is what do people actually want? What is their need? Yeah? Do I take out my students group? Or do I take out a customer? And here's some more examples. So people don't want to buy a power drill. They want a painting on the wall. And perhaps they don't want a painting on the wall. They might want their room to look nice where they live. And their room to look nice can be achieved with paintings, with plants, with Bangud Olufsen loudspeakers because they look beautiful with a colorful wall or with n other things. So if you look at it this way, it changes your competitive dynamics. The entire field of competition changes. People don't want a TV, they want to be entertained. People don't want to scale, they want to look good. And people, or if you look at a business example, well, a business doesn't need a fry train, they need a solution to have goods transported. Let's take one look at another example, which most of us can relate to. So if you go to a supermarket, you find wines typically organized by price and by country. So I mean, yes, you, you differentiate between sparkling, white, rosé and reds, but then normally it's by countries and by price. So I know I'm serving spaghetti with clams tonight. And I have a bottle of 2018 Chateau Marguerite. And I have another bottle, say, of 2016 Cadifrati. This is what is in the supermarket. Now, most people can't answer that question because only two people are hardcore wine aficionados and are therefore comfortable to tell you, well, which is good. So what we have done for one of the largest supermarket chains is reorganize all those wines by way more practical things. I need a wine that goes with fish because I'm serving spaghetti with clams tonight. 
or I'm organizing a nice dinner with friends where I'm serving steak. And then it's very clear. The Kadifrati goes in the fish region. The Chateau Magritte is something that you would serve with a steak. The result was a 30% uptake in wine purchases. Overnight, after we have implemented that, both online as well as in the store, wine sales would increase by an astonishing 30%. People felt more comfortable buying because they knew what they needed and what they wanted.